Hello and welcome to the second lesson of Unreal Engine course. In this lesson I will explain some basics about how to create a simple project and how to use Unreal Engine interface. In the previous lesson we have installed Unreal Engine 4.25, so we can just launch it. And if you are running Unreal Engine for the first time it may ask you to restart your machine. Then we are getting Unreal Engine project browser where we can open existing projects or create a new one. So let's create a game project. On the next step we can use some templates for our new project. And you can see here different kind of templates for the first person, for the flying, even for the virtual reality, but for this lesson I will use blank. Then we need to define our project settings. We can select here what type of project we want to create, blueprint or C++, for this lesson I will use Blueprint as this course is for beginners. Next we can choose uh, performance characteristics. I will leave it on maximum quality, but you can choose scalable if your machine is low performance. We can leave uh, ray tracing disabled. Usually this requires a capable video card to use it. I have NVIDIA GeForce 1660 Ti, which is capable, but for this lesson I will leave it disabled. Then we can set what platform we want to use and we have two options here for desktops or PCs and for mobile devices. And for this lesson let's use starter content as well, so basically we have left all settings by default for this project. Now underneath we can choose a location where our project will be stored, clicking these three dots. I will set the new location for it. And then we need to name our project. I will call it uh, Lesson 2. So now we are done. Let's click Create. And our project will start loading. And here we go. Our project has been created and we are running Unreal Engine Editor. So basically what we are looking at is a different sections that you can move and change its location. For example you can move all of these tabs as you want. You can change the size of the sections and make it convenient for you. I'm usually not changing anything here because it's very fine for me as it is. But if you are feeling not too convenient with this layout you can change it how you want. On the top we have main tab that indicates our level with the minimal default level name that because we have used starter content to create our project. Here we have the main window which is viewport and it shows our level. And on the top right we have world outliner that shows all actors which is currently located on the level and you can see here currently we have uh, 15 actors. And here we can hide actors with this eye. And we can select any actor from the list or even from the viewport. And on the right side we have a details for selected actor. Here we can change actor parameters, but we will do this later. So now let's get back to the interface. On the left side we have place actors tab with different actors list. And you can drag and drop any actor to the level if you want to add a new actor. On the bottom we have content browser that shows all project related folders and files. And on the top we have buttons where we can save our level, build and run. So basically that's it for today and on the next lesson I will explain you more about these sections. And we will start from the viewport. But for today thanks for watching and take care.